since the accident, I have been in a wheelchair. Like all spinal cord injuries, I went through different phases of readaptation and rehabilitation for SCI and seek support of the Social Integration Service of Memo Quebec. For more than 22 years, I made a career as a Paralympic athlete in paracycling. Subsequently, I also trained and hired by Group Lizard Incorporated as an industrial designer. The spinal cord is a vital part of our nervous system. It carries electrical information to and from our brain. It allows us to feel what is going on from our hands and feet, move our arms and legs, keep us breathing and ultimately keep us alive. Damage can result in loss of sensation in both voluntary and involuntary functions of a considerable part of the body. It can be a life-changing injury. A spinal cord injury, also known as a spinal lesion, may occur in many ways, but it often involves trauma. It can affect certain physiological functions, the ability to move muscles, as well as a sensation of touch, blood circulation, the elimination of urine and intestinal waste, and respiratory capacity may be altered. These are just a few examples of how the body might change after a spinal cord injury. According to Praxis Institute as of 2019, there are an estimated 85,556 people with spinal cord injury in Canada. Approximately 44,000 sustain an SCI as a result of traumatic injury which involves motor vehicle crashes and falls. There is an estimate of 1,786 new cases of traumatic spinal cord injury in Canada each year. Almost Half of new traumatic injuries occur in people 15 to 39 years old, mainly male, as a result of motor vehicle accidents, sporting accidents, and other external causes. In Quebec, most cases of spinal cord injury was caused by vehicle collisions which affects the young population. In this regard, the Société de l'Assurance Automobile du Québec, SAQ, has many awareness campaigns that mainly focus on the prevention of road and vehicle-related accidents. These campaigns remind us to get rid of drinking alcohol and taking drugs while driving, to take a rest if we feel tired, to follow basic safety rules, buckle up, and a lot more things to prevent accidents. But the question is, what will happen after this life-changing accident? How can someone move forward on this new life? Traumatic spinal cord injury is a life-changing neurological condition. This circumstance is a new and challenging situation and affects almost every aspect of life when it happens. It can be hard to restore life and adjust for the new life situation. Mark, how did your rehab go after the accident? I had rather typical rehabilitation, I would say. Uh, that is to say, I had the rehabilitation course with ups and downs. There were some days when I really wanted to participate in activities and hope for the best, and some darker days when reality hit me in the face. And I had to get used to this new situation because it was permanent. Moelle Epinière et Motricité Québec, also known as Memo Québec, is a non-profit organization that has provided support services for the recovery and social integration of patients with SCI since 1946. The organization is mainly engaged in five areas such as social integration, employability, advocacy, awareness and prevention. Its mission is to promote self-sufficiency, independence and quality of life for people living with disabilities. Living with disability is challenging and can cause a feeling of hopelessness and discouragement. Most of the time, this leads to isolation. But with the help of Memo Quebec, who is always working to make a difference, there is always hope. There is 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 hope. If there were any advice you would like to give to all those who give up too often in the face of adversity, what would it be? I had a period of questioning after my career and despite my disability, I remained active. Adversity is what should motivate us and challenges should be our reason to live in order to flourish and to be fulfilled. I learned a long time ago that we don't control our future and that we have to follow our instincts every day. 
one thing I know is that I want to be good and at peace with my choices. And I will never give up on new challenges.